Well, again, Mrs. Bush, welcome to U.S. Institute of Peace. It's really an honor to have you here. And you have been such a tireless champion for Afghan women. H how do you see some of the greatest areas of progress over your time of engagement, and where do you see the challenges looking forward? Well, of course, there are still challenges, but, but things have really changed since we all looked at Afghanistan right after September 11th. As Americans, the very idea of a government that would forbid half of its population from being educated was shocking. But it is much better, although, of course, there's still many challenges. Many, many more girls are in school and being educated, but not all girls are in school yet. Um, the men need education, boys as well. My whole idea of writing the book was just for people to look at Afghanistan again, to not forget um, the, our obligations to Afghanistan as Americans, which I think we have in our own security interest. And you made two very historic trips uh, to visit Afghanistan. And your book is based on some extraordinary stories, and you bring that alive so beautifully for us. What do you hold as maybe one of your most memorable encounters from your visits? Well, I remember going to Bamiyan province, and Bamiyan is best known for those two towering sixth century Buddhas that are carved into huge niches in the mountain walls and now, of course, are just rubble. I think in a lot of ways that showed sort of the, it was a symbol really for the destruction of Afghanistan. But then to be met by a female governor uh, was another symbol and that was the symbol of the change that is coming and has come in many ways but still, of course, is a long way from um, the sort of rights and privileges and, and security that we enjoy in the United States. And you, uh, of course, have established uh, at the Bush Institute the Women's uh, Leadership Initiative. Mm -hmm. And I would love to hear more about how that is supporting mm -hmm. women in conflict or in fragile environments. This is something that we care deeply yes, about at the right. U.S. Institute right. of Peace. Well, we've had four classes of women, and the idea behind it is based on research of an SMU professor who's, whose research shows that your network is as effective as your education level to your success. The idea is to bring women all from the same country so when they go home they have each other and then they can introduce each other to their colleagues and to their friends and their family and thereby broaden their network. Uh, they're paired with a prominent American woman who's in their same field and it's a year-long fellowship. They spend a, a month in the United States of studying leadership, visiting all the institutions in our country that support our democracy. And then they stay as fellows for the whole year. They go back home and then they come back at the end and um, come back to the United States at the, at the end of the year and share their stories and then meet the next group of, of women who are coming the next year. From this work that you've done with the Afghan women, with your leadership's initiative, for young women who are navigating tough situations in conflict countries, what's the message you would give to them? Well, the message is that they can navigate it, that they really will be able to. And one thing I know for sure about Afghan women, and I can tell this from all the women that I know and that I wrote about, is they're strong. They really are strong. And I hope that what they'll do with their youth and their energy uh, is to build an Afghanistan that's, that's acceptable to everyone and that comes together in peace.